another pick a card reading and this is your weekly self-care reading okay so the channel is going through changes I am growing shifting and changing and I feel like I'm finally getting into the vibe of what I'm gonna be offering y'all so drop down in the comments let me know what you like what you don't like um, this is obviously something new and let's see how it goes so we're going to just take a minute, invite your guides, my guides, your most enlightened ancestors, my most enlightened ancestors into this conversation so that you all can get the information, the confirmation, and the inspiration that you're looking for. So let's take a deep breath together. Exhale out. Pick a pile that resonates for you. Pile one is this golden amber. Pile two is Palo Santo. Pile three is the Tektite. And let's Number get started. One. So if you picked the Golden Amber, this is for you. So this was actually a gift from a crystal dealer that I work with. And uh, this is kind of a rare um, crystal. She's always giving me something beautiful. And so if you picked this pile, the self-care message for you this week is there is only one you. You are amazing. You are rare. And you just need to know that. All right. And here we go. So because you are rare, you are beautiful, and you are phenomenal, you need to create your own happiness. No more looking to people, places, and things for your happiness, okay? No more trying to find happiness in relationships. No more people pleasing. No more bending over backwards, okay? This week is all about you creating your own happiness. We are coming out of the, well, not, we're not coming out of it. It just happened yesterday, but we are, so we are still very much in the energy of the eclipse, the full moon in Capricorn. The eclipse energy will be with us for the next six months. Capricorn is all about a achievement. It is all about progressing, moving forward, career, public image, all of those phenomenal things, right? And so in order for you to advance, in order for you to go forward, in order for you to progress, you need to create your own happiness. You know, for me, myself, me, myself, and I, I definitely was very much, you know, I'm a Libra, right? Libra sun, Gemini moon cap rising. And I spent the better part of my life trying to make other people happy. You know, I spent so much time bending over backwards, trying to please people. Um, because that is the, you know, the Libra nature is kind of, you know, we don't really like confrontation. We like things to be smooth and easy. And so that meant so many times me, um, stifling my discomfort. You know, I did that a lot, especially in love relationships, just being quiet about things that were not comfortable to me. And it did not bear well for my relationships. And what I found was that once I started to shift and change and focus on myself and focus on, um, you know, what people wanted of me, I became a little bit less popular, you know? And so a lot of times we go along to get along because it's our nature, but it's just interesting when you start to center yourself, um, people don't like that. People start to call you mean and selfish and all of those things. And so maybe that's why you have been letting people get away with things, right? Maybe it's your true nature, but maybe also you were taught at a very young age that it would be better for you to just let other people say what they want and do what they want and, and focusing on other people and looking to other people to make you happy, looking for jobs to make you happy, looking for clothes to make you happy, looking for sex to make you happy. And maybe now you've come to a place where you're starting to realize that, you know what, you have to, something's missing, something's not right, something's not connecting, and that something is you, pile number one, okay? You need to focus on yourself, focus on your own happiness you know, put yourself first above everybody. You are all you have, right? You are, you came here alone, you're going to leave here alone. So you might as well just make yourself happy, right? There is a, a saying, I think it might be by Marilyn Monroe, maybe it's by somebody else. And it's like, you have to make, you, you, you can't please everyone. So you might as well please yourself or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, make yourself happy, create your own happiness, connecting to the energy of the full moon, maybe taking a moon bath tonight. Um, 
yeah, and journaling. Journal. Maybe you don't know what makes you happy. Maybe you so far away from yourself that your happiness, your own happiness is a distant memory, but this is the time for you to key into yourself. Okay. You are of the cosmos. You are rare. You are beautiful and you deserve to live the life that you want to live. So go ahead and do that. All right, pile number one. So I hope this resonated for you. Drop down in the comments and let me know and I'll see you soon. Hit the Palo Santo pile number two. So I got this Palo Santo when I was doing a retreat in Ecuador for um, women of color mainly. And so wondering what this uh, Palo Santo, this sacred wood actually has to do with your self care. So let's see. All right. Well, there we go. Connect to the earth, connect with the earth. And we have wood here and we have wood here so that could not be more clear so maybe getting yourself some palo santo yourself getting out into um nature if you can if it is safe where you are right you want to put that mask on <laughs> and go out there get in nature maybe getting yourself some crystals even if you can't get out in nature get yourself a plant get yourself like a nice easy plant like um jade jade is good luck but it jade plant it's good luck and it's also a succulent and so, you know, it's, it's an easy beginner plant to work with. Doesn't take a lot of water. The point is for you to get your hands in the dirt. We also have the one plus three there, which is four in numerology. Four is about foundation, foundation sustaining. And so it's interesting because here we are again, coming out of this full moon in Capricorn. Capricorn is an earth sign. So maybe you are Capricorn sun, moon rising or maybe you have Capricorn somewhere prominent in your chart, right? Again, because Capricorn is about thriving. It is about uh, progressing. It is about achievement. It is definitely about building a foundation, which is about number four, right? And so you're connecting to earth. Actually starting to do that this week is going to help you firm up your foundation, your your career because again capricorn is all about career so by connecting to mother earth by getting more grounded you're actually opening the door to more goodness wow that's pretty dope that's pretty dope so connect to mother earth um maybe grabbing a few crystal allies definitely getting a plant let me know if this resonates if you do get a plant Hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you got. Let me know about your plant journey. Let me know about your nature journey. I want to hear what's going on with you. All right, pile number two. See you pile soon. Pile number three. So if you picked the tech tight. This is actually a piece of a meteor that fell down to earth, right? And it is good for balancing all of the chakras. It is good for raising your vibration. And so your self-care message has to do with, um, your affirmation has to do with emotional health. And so when we think about emotional health, right, that is definitely about raising your vibration. The higher your vibration is, the higher you're vibrating, the more work you're doing on yourself, the better your emotional health is, the higher your vibration will be. So the key to you this week is to focus on your emotional health, okay? And the affirmation is, I am transparent. What you see is what you get. And I love that about myself. So this is your affirmation for the week, All right? So maybe getting yourself a t piece of tectite. Um, and if you can't do that, at the very least, work with that root chakra. The root chakra has to do with your right to be on the planet. The more settled you are in yourself, the more confident you are in yourself, the easier it will be for you to be transparent, also known as vulnerable, okay? It is okay for you to be vulnerable, Maybe you have been hurt in the past. Maybe that's damaged your emotional health. Maybe you had, you know, a, come from a family that is um, avoidant. Um, you have issues around abandonment. And so you've decided to not be transparent because you felt like it was safer, right? So getting yourself some tech type, but also working on your root chakra so that you can reaffirm that you have the right to be here. Because guess what? You do have a right to be here. All right. And also connecting to your crown chakra, which has to do with receiving messages. Your crown chakra is at the top of your 
head, right? So you want to be able to be getting clear messages so that you have a clear picture of who you are and the gifts that you bring to the planet and how needed and how loved you are, okay? If you need support, reach out to your friends. Be transparent if you need, you know, there's so much going on in the world right now that so if you need extra help, like from a therapist or something like that, reach out to a therapist, okay? But get the help that you need so that you can be vulnerable, so that people can, you know, there, there are no surprises when they're dealing with you, okay? So that what you see is what you get. All right, pile number three. So I hope that resonated for you. If you made it this far, go ahead and drop a crystal ball down in the comments and I will see you next time. Bye.